What's up, YouTube? Today I have a video, and it will be about the top five things that I do not like about my Chevy Cruze. It is a 2013, which means it's a Gen 1, and that will be the same design all the way from 2011 all the way up until 2015 Limited. And now the first thing about my Chevy Cruze that I do not like, and this is maybe just mine in particular because I've seen other Cruises that get excellent gas mileage, but uh, here on mine, as you will see that I've had mine for about 21,000 miles now, and I only get 21 miles per gallon average. But with that being said, I do have a leg foot, so that could have a, a factor into it. But at the same time, I've seen plenty of other people who have leg feet with the Chevy Cruze that get well up into the 40 miles per gallon range or around there. I might be exaggerating, but I've seen pretty high miles per gallon. So I have no idea exactly why my car gets such low miles, but at the same time, like I said, I do uh, have a heavy foot. So the second thing about my Chevy Cruze that I do not like is the passenger seating space or whatever you want to call it. There is not much room in this car for anybody that's really above 5'8", five, 5'9". Five, and I'm 5'7 on a good day. And I fit in here, I guess you can say perfectly fine. But if you were any taller with any with longer legs, you would not have room. And the way I, the reason why I say that is because even with me being 5'7 and my seat being where it's at, there was still hardly, you probably can't see, but there's still hardly any uh, leg room in the back. So if you're a tall person or you have a big family or a big group of people that you want to transport, this is not the car for any of that. Now to the next thing, um, you can, I guess you, I'm, pre, I'm pretty sure you probably heard the Chevy Cruze is really slow. But to me personally, I don't think it's that slow. My only problem is uh, it loses a lot of its power in the higher RPM ranges. So once you get above, I say you can get up to 45, 50 pretty quick. But once you get above there, the car kind of loses all of its power. So almost anybody or any car will beat you in the long run. But I've, I've raced plenty of cars where I give them at the start. But... But the car is only a 1.4 liter four cylinder. So at the same time, what do you expect? And you can make this car pretty fun if you actually feel like spending the money and putting the money into the performance mods for it. Then you can have a, a pretty fun daily driver. But if your sole reason of getting this car would be to mod and race and do all that, it is not a good idea. And that's just in my opinion and probably everybody else's opinion that has a Chevy Cruze. <laughs> That's two things that I don't like about the car have to do with the exterior of the car. And one of those things will be the massive amount of chrome, at least in my opinion, that comes factory on the Chevy Cruze. And me, myself, I went ahead and took some black carbon fiber vinyl wrap and covered up the chrome along the trim of my car. But beforehand, it had a bunch of chrome that I didn't like. And as you can see, it's all over the grill in the front. And then it's also around my Chevy emblems on the front and the back. It used to be all along the uh, window trim right here. Also, as you can see, it, this whole black bar used to be chrome too. And in my opinion, that was too much chrome. So I went ahead and blacked it out. Now, the last thing that I don't like about my Chevy Cruze would be the headlights. And the reason I don't like my headlights is because they still have the old halogen uh, bulb or whatever. And the reason why I feel like they should be LED is because this is the same design all the way up until 2016 Limited. And I like the way that the LED lights look on all the newer cars. And with this car not having the LED lights, I feel like it kind of... I don't know. The car still looks good without it, but at the same time, I feel like with LED lights, this car will look way better. And there you have it. That will be the top five things that I do not like about my 2013 Chevy Cruze. If you like videos like this, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.